Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the best jump shot for my 5'9, 264 guard builds, man. As you guys know, 5'9s to 64 guard builds are definitely the best guard builds to make this year. A lot of people are starting to get to their cap breakers and they're making small guard builds. So I decided to come out with the best jump shot for you guys to put on your small guard builds. And of course, I have highlights with this jump shot at the end of the video. So if you guys want to see this jump shot in game, in action, make sure you guys stay tuned and watch the highlights. But before we get into the jump shot, can we get 100 likes on this video? 100 likes will be insane. Also hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 6,000 subscribers. If we get 6,000 subscribers before the year is over, that'll be absolutely crazy. And also, if you guys have any questions or need any help, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to respond. So now let's get into the best jump shots for my 5.9 to 6.4 guard builds, man. All right, before we get into the jump shot, I want to show you guys my shooting settings just in case you guys want to see it. Let's go to control settings right here. So this is what I use for shooting. I use high risk reward. I've been using high risk reward ever since the game came out. You know what I'm saying? I was on a lockdown with a 73 pointer using high risk reward greening. So I definitely just used it for all my other builds as well, like my 6.5 and also the 6.4. I definitely recommend this over anything because it will help you green more, man. And to be honest, there's not really no risk in putting high risk reward. It just feels like regular 2K, to be honest. So you definitely want to try out shot timing profile on a high risk reward. Next is shot timing visual cue. I use release. Yeah, last year I used push and push felt so good. And this year release just feels better, to be honest. I feel like release is definitely the best visual cue to use. I feel like if anybody used push last year, you should use release this year. But that could just be a me thing. I probably just feel like release feels like push from last year. But you guys should definitely try this if you guys are having a hard time with shooting. Definitely try release out. Next is shot meter input type. You guys want to put posted only. This is so you guys have no meter. If you guys want to agree more on 2K, you guys definitely want to use no meter because you do get a boost with using no meter. Ever since 2K20, there's been a boost, and you guys want to take advantage of that. If you guys want to use your meter until you get used to the timing, you guys can definitely do that. But I definitely recommend after you get used to it to definitely turn it off because you guys will have an advantage and you guys will definitely green more. So these are my shooting settings. If you guys want to use these shooting settings, you guys can. I only have silver shooting badges on this build, and I shoot lights out. So you guys can definitely shoot lights out with these shooting settings and the jump shot I'm about to show you right now. All right, so the jump shot you guys wanna use for your five, nine to six, four builds. Before we get into the jump shot again, I do have highlights at the end of this video. If you guys wanna see this jump shot in game, in action, definitely watch those highlights. All right, so the lower base. Lower base we wanna use, we wanna use Cameron Thomas. Cameron Thomas is a very, very good lower base for small guards. A lot of people use Kyrie Irving. A lot of people are using Patty Mills once they hit SS4 which is a definitely good jump shot to use when you hit SS4. But if you guys are not SS4, you guys can use Cameron Thomas like I do. And Cameron Thomas, I'm not gonna lie, it changed the game for me. I didn't really like Kyrie. Kyrie was like inconsistent for me. But as soon as I went Cameron Thomas, huh, I became chicken. So we got Cameron Thomas right here. As you guys can see, it has an A plus release height, which is very good. We can test, we can shoot over people, people that are shorter than us, even people that are like 6'5 plus. If they go for a reach and we shoot while they're reaching, we shoot over them, you know what I'm saying? Or if they're not putting a hand up, we're shooting over them. So we got an A plus release height. We have a B plus defense immunity, which is very good. So if we get like a 5% contest or light pressure contest or just an open shot, not wide open, but like when it says open, we can definitely hit those shots because of that B plus defensive immunity. We got an A plus release speed and we got a B minus timing stability, which is super, super good. That keeps our jump shot super consistent with timing. We don't have multiple animations. We have one animation with this jump shot. I could definitely vouch for that. The only time your timing changes is when your energy is low, like super low. That's when the timing changes. And that's pretty much it. Next is upper release number one. Upper release number one is such a reliable release. It's probably the best release in the game. I've used different releases on this game and it just never works out but once i go to this release it just always makes the jump shot chicken like i just don't miss when i put this release on and you guys definitely know about it too it's called oscar robertson it's just a reliable release it helps you green it makes the jump shot better it makes the jump shot smooth it makes your jump shot faster 
you just can't go wrong with Oscar Robertson. And we got Oscar Robertson right here. As you guys can see, we got a B release height, which is pretty good. A minus defense immunity, super, super important. We got a B release speed and an A plus time and stability. Again, it makes the jump shot faster. It makes the jump shot smoother. It makes your jump shot just more greenable. I don't know how to explain it. It just, when I put this release on, I just green. I try other releases just to mix it up sometimes, just to switch it up sometimes. I just be breaking. I can't get consistent. But once I put that Oscar Robertson on, I'm just consistent and chicken. You would definitely want to go with Oscar Robertson as a release one. Next is release two. And what we want to do for release two, we want to use Oscar Robertson again. Double Oscar Robertson, you can never go wrong. Ever since 2K23, double Oscar Robertson has been the wave. I use double Oscar Robertson on 23, 24. Now I'm using double Oscar Robertson on 25. And again, it just makes me chicken, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys want a green, you guys want to go with double Oscar Robertson. I know it's kind of boring using the same releases every single year, but if you just want to win and just shoot lights out, hit peaks, hit quick stops, hit contested sometimes, you want to use the Oscar Robertson release. You just can't go wrong with it. And this is the jump shot right here, man. Once you guys got the lower base in both the releases, you guys want to go to blending and release speed. All right, blending and release speed. Visual cue, I go with release. Again, I like release. It feels so good. I can just time release every single time. Last year I was pushed, but this time I'm just released and I'm just chicken with it. You know what I'm saying? I green a lot with it. I definitely recommend you guys trying it out. If you guys like just tapping square, you guys like fast, fast jump shots, go with jump, set point, or even push. If you guys like holding square for a little bit like I do, definitely go release. Next is release speed, and this is where people make a big mistake. A lot of people go 100% release speed. Not this year, man. You guys want to go with 75 release speed this year. 75 release speed will just allow you to green your jump shots even more. Ever since I went 75 release speed on majority of my jump shots, I've been greening more. I'm a big advocate on 100% release speed on guards, but this year, 75 release speed. If you guys feel like you guys been missing so much and you guys can't shoot on your small guards, it's most likely because you're on 100% release speed. You guys want to put that down to 75. And trust me, your jump shot is still fast enough. It's still fast enough to quick stop. It's still fast enough to hit peaks. It's still fast enough to do everything. Going with a 75 release speed, you guys won't get contested. I know most people might get worried about that, but no, I'm going to get contested a lot because my jump shot is slow. Your jump shot is not going to be slow and you're not going to get contested a lot. Trust me when I say 75 release speed is the wave. In animation blending, both is Oscar Robertson, so we can keep it at 50-50. It really doesn't matter what you guys go with on this one. And now as you guys can see, the jump shot got an A-plus release height, which is super good. Very, very good. You got an A-plus release speed filled up all the way. So you see that the 75 release speed on the jump shot does not affect our release speed. Our release speed is still an A-plus because the jump shot is still quick. You got A minus defensive immunity on a small guard. That's amazing on any build. That's amazing, but especially on small guards, amazing. Definitely needed. Then we got a C plus timing stability. Don't worry, you guys will be able to hit consistently with this jump shot. This jump shot does not have multiple timings. It has one timing. The only time your timing changes again is when you're out of energy. When you're out of energy, your time your timing gets slower because your player is tired. But besides that, it's the same timing every single time. You're not gonna have multiple timings. You're not gonna have load ups. This jump shot is super consistent. Again, if you guys want to see this jump shot in action, if you guys want to see this jump shot in game, definitely watch these highlights that I'm about to show right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this jump shot. I hope you guys enjoyed these highlights. Have a blessed day. Peace. All right, first game with this jump shot, man. Let's lock in, bruh. I'm going to show you guys this jump shot is chicken and super consistent. Low energy. Green B. Energy or not, we still got it. I low-key still had my adrenaline bars, but my stamina was low. But this jump shot has one timing, bro. That's why I like this jump shot. Unless I have low energy, that's the only time I have different timing. Oh my goodness, green again. Come on. You guys definitely want to try out these jump shots. If you guys have a 5, 9, 6, 4. If you guys are not SS4, this is the jump shot to use, man. I'm definitely going to try out Patty Mills later. I did miss right there, but I'm telling you guys, that's the only time I'm missing. I swear. It's locked in. Oh, he shot that. Oh, that's green bean. He's using Cam Thomas too, I think. But when I do hit SS4, which I'm really close, I will try Patty Mills and I definitely will come out with a jump shot with Patty Mills if it is a good base. But I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm sticking with Cameron Thomas. He just made that. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna stick with Cameron Thomas for the rest of the year because it's it's just I'm consistent with it. So why would I change it? Like you don't want to change things 
if it's not broken, man. If you're greening with a jump shot, don't change your jump shot. The only time you want to change your jump shot is if it's just too slow, you're getting contested too much. That's the only time you want to change it. You guys see my defense. Come on. Green bean! I love going for those when I get your rebound, bruh. I'm not missing any more, man. Come on. Let's go. Oh, he's leaving me. He's leaving me open, man. Come on. Come guard up, bruh. You don't want to guard up? Green bean. I'm going to show you why you got to guard up. I'm going to show you. We now got deep bomber takeover, bruh. <laughs> you know what that means. I can shoot from anywhere on the court. Now he's guarding up. He's respecting the shot. I don't blame him. This is Green B. Come on from deep. We got deep bomber. He's saying my jump shot is chicken, man. I'm telling you guys. Green Bean in front of his face. I told you guys. If it's not even wide open, but if it's just open, you guys can green it. All right, man. Let's go. One more jump shot and the game is over. Come on. All three pointers. You know how I do for the jump shot videos, man. Green Bean. When I do jump shot videos, I just like shooting, man. I don't even go for dunks. I'm going to show you guys some more highlights. Let's get into it. Oh, my goodness. I just blitzed me crazy. Come on. Just playing down. You know what I'm going to do. Green Bean. Don't play down, man. Not against me. You still want to play low. Green Bean, stop playing, bro. Play up, man. You're five nine two. Come on, man. From the logo, bro. Come on, Deep Bomber is so tough. Oh my goodness, I had to grab anyone in front of me that still green did. No way. Green Bean, man. You guys gotta try this jumper, man. So tough. Green Light Nation Cat! Come on, in your face, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna try something. Green from deep at the half court line. Stop playing, bro. Give me that. Come on. Snatch back. Green. Come on. Stop playing. 